some Vaseline on her lips. <laughs> Up at the front. Well, it was sort of, it was sort of the decadence, early 70s, late 60s, early 70s. Think of uh, Sharon Tate, think of Los Angeles, think, think of Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. Feminine, but, but quite romantic, but, but there's an understatement of, of, of um, sexual um, mood going, going through it, um, in, its, in its femininity and in its youthfulness. But you always need to watch women, girls who look too young and are like more dangerous than the more mature girls on the streets. I think people probably are buying less, and, but they're probably buying better. They're probably investing more, I think. But, but yet, the, the high street is still doing very well. It's that middle area that I believe is struggling because there's, there's a blandness that we must try and eliminate. Um, and I think it's up to the retailers to be a little more adventurous, make it more attractive for maybe the people less strongly financed to be on that shop floor to, uh, to attract that customer. worry about you know undoing your waistband and I think also it could work you know for women who you know maybe just had a baby or, or you know getting over a little bit of post baby um, fat and also I noticed Autumn Phillips was in the front row Peter Phillips wife and she gave birth to their first child I think like seven months ago she was wearing that kind of trapeze line coat so it's, I think it's very 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 flattering
London is one of the four leading fashion capitals, but I don't know uh, if you happen to read the Global um, Monitor. We are now officially fashion capital according to them, which is something that we've known for some time. Um, but really our DNA is about innovation, creativity and talent, and that's what makes London so exciting. We know that there are challenges out there in terms of economic times, but I think this is such a showcase of innovation and talent. Uh, these are businesses that um, sell globally, and actually at this end of the market, the designers are still building their business and seeing successes. So it's incredibly important that we have the right global media, the right retailers here in London to see our talent and to buy it and help their businesses grow.